Let me talk about the curvilinear coordinates. I believe that you learned those things in calculus, but uh, I think it's been nice to present all the all the key points that I think I would use uh, in the one one uh, white uh, whiteboard. So for the future discussion, we'll set the Cartesian coordinate as x1, x2, x3, and the curvilinear as q1, q2, q3. Of course, they can be extended or extended to n-dimensional. And for different uh, for differential elements, based it based on the chain rule, we'll have this, and we can think effectively. For for instance, uh, on the spherical coordinate, we have we have a little bit changing on. Radial direction change on phi direction, theta direction, all add together will give us dr. Just visual, give you a visual way to think about it are phi and theta. Uh, the core, core concept of this of uh, the curvilinear coordinate is the Jacobian Jacobian matrix. Uh, basically, the nine uh, derivative of both coordinates, as you can see. And the volume, then the volume element uh, will, will become, for Cartesian, of course, is dx1, dx2, dx3. Uh, for covalinear, you need the uh, absolute, absolute value of the determinant of j. So, so it will be absolute value determinant j, q, uh, dq1, dq2, dq3. And for the arc length, uh, you can... Um, is is a similar similar idea as a, a differential element. We have this. Um, if we mul multiply J inverse on both sides, we'll end up having this equation. So for for some reason, if we don't have the coordinate for the curvilinear coordinates or the Cartesian coordinate, you can act if and if the Jacobian is given, uh, um, then we can actually getting the other co uh, coordinate that we that we may need by doing integral uh, based, uh, so let's look at uh, one specific example so a polar coordinate r5 we know that uh, the, uh, the the x and y the car uh, cartesian coordinate can be expressed in terms of r and phi in this way and basically we're doing like a 2 by 2 jacobian uh, Jacobian for two, uh, 2D. We have this. If you do the derivative, you will end up finding this. The determinant is uh, trivial to calculate. It will become R cosine theta square plus basically minus, minus, so positive. So, uh, so it will become R sine theta square. So, will be R cosine theta square plus sine theta square, which will be R. So, determinant of, uh, the determinant of J will be r so for the the volume element will become dv uh, dv uh, dv equals d, uh, absolute value determined j dr d, d5 which equals r dr d5 